looks like it. Solvents pollute. Manager said something about solvents on the phone. Not exactly a grand final crowd, is it? Maybe they're just advanced scouts. Mm. I'll see you later. Look, are you sure you don't want to come in with me? No, you go ahead. I'd hate anyone to steal our garbage. Oh, and listen, if the tip's open, you won't bring back too many little treaties, will you? I'll try my best. Hey, check out that demonstrator. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See ya. Flower cards. Blackouts. Blackouts. Uh, only a dollar. What for? I've got one. Well, t two arms, two placards, twice as effective. <laughs> See, when you finish the spray job, you've got to clean all the equipment out. Otherwise, the paint will dry in there and clog everything up. So what are you cleaning with? Oh, we just use solvent. Paint thinner. Do you clean the brushes out with that too? Yeah, you see, it's all solvent-based paint, so unfortunately, you've got to clean everything with solvent. I've kept some of the stuff for you. And then you've got the problem of scraps of paint you don't want, like this. I oh, see so you end up with a mixture of paint and solvent. That's right. Then you've got to get rid of it. That's the problem. Well, what have you been doing with it? That's what that mob out there's been complaining about. I'll show you. This is hopeless, Vortex. Can't we go home? Oh, I've lost interest in the environment already, Plan. No, but the weather is... Hey, hang on. There's that fool from Infinity Limited in there. Come on, Plankton. Be a good boy. Go back and try a bit harder with your posters. Placards. Placards. Well, come on. I've got work to attend to inside. Solvent slops. That's what the boys call them. Surprising how they build up. You can't wash them down the sink. All we can do is take them to the tip of these drums. What is that, the local tip? Better go miles. There's not many who take liquid waste of any shape or form these days. So you might find yourself having to stockpile it soon. Dead right. But who wants it? We've got nowhere to store the drums. And if somebody should drop a match in the wrong spot. <laughs> well, we wouldn't have a waste problem anymore. Probably wouldn't have the factory either. Mm. What about water-based paints? Have you thought of using that? Not really. There are lots of ways to make things easier, but it takes far too long to dry for our purposes. So it has to be solvent-based. That's right. But if you can find a safe way of getting rid of the waste, I'll be a happy man. Well, I think we've got enough to go on. Look, I'll keep in touch, OK? Good man. Don't forget your slops. Oh, right. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. See ya. Who are you? Uh, Valerian J. Vortex. Vortex Ventures at your service. Um, <coughs> uh, now, sir, it would appear that you have a, um, a small problem. I hope you're not under one of them. But not at all, sir. Uh, in fact, our liquid waste management program is unrivaled in the Southern Hemisphere, not to mention the Northern Hemisphere. Now... What do these delightful slops consist of? Well, basically, it's just a mixture of solvent and paint pigments for colouring. The solvent's the real problem, though. See, if it leaks out, it really pollutes rivers or whatever it gets into. <laughs> and up until now, they've been dumping the waste at the tips. Yep, in drums. Oh, how did you go at the tip? Great. Guess who I saw there? Ah, uh, the Incredible Hulk? Close. Greg. Oh. And the rubbish? Still in the moak. Uh-huh. Oh, there were thousands in the queue. I decided to give it a miss. I see, and recycle it back here. Oh. This paint, is it burnable? Is it what? It's downright explosive in a confined space. Oh, forget that one. Why can't it be buried in a more permanent container? No, I've been thinking about that, and they've already tried it with nuclear waste and other deadly materials. But sooner or later, it starts leaking out into the ground or the sea or wherever it happens to be put. Wouldn't completely trust any of those containers. Speaking of which, why four? How to get rid of that waste? How? How? What about a depth charge? Like a garbage bin with a time bomb in it. Descends to 50 fathoms and then kaboom! Blows everything into a trillion, trillion pieces for the fishes to eat. They wouldn't feel like eating plankton. They'd all have concussion. No. No, what about really getting rid of it by, by rocket into outer space? The waste shuttle. Nah. 
Now it's been booked up for years. What about an acid bath then? Acid bath? Yeah, you know. Dissolve it all. Plankton, how much waste do you think would fit into a bathtub? Well, what about something bigger? A local bars, mate. Local bars. Lo Plankton, just get up the duct and find out what they're doing, will you? Local bars. Local bars. So I thought we could have one bin for food scraps, one for paper and cardboard, one for glass, and one for metal cans. Instead of throwing out our rubbish, we recycle it. Yeah. Well, the food scraps go into compost. Oh, compost? When does the garden arrive? Mrs Connor takes it. We get fresh veggies in return. Ah, and the metal and glass? The makers will have most of that and pay you for it. Even still cans nowadays. Plastic? Leave it in the supermarket. Simply don't buy anything wrapped in plastic. Uh, I suppose we could take the paper to one of those recycle places. We could. We're going one better. Surprise! What's that? It's a paper press for making bricks. You soak the paper overnight, bung it in this, and... Bingo! Instant firewood. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I know. We can put them on the barbie and take some over to your parents' no, no, place. No, 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 no. I mean for the paint. Hmm? Well, supposing the water was the waste. Well, what about mixing it with something solid to trap it? Uh... Will the paper break up fairly quickly? Yes, but say using cement to make concrete blocks. Now, they could be buried and very little of the chemical would dissolve out. Hmm, it's a nice idea. Give the slop some concrete shoes. Well, perhaps filtration will provide an answer. This tea will soon let me know. Uh, oh, blast. Ha-ha, <laughs> Plankton! What news from the uh, Waste Management Division? They've got some sort of contraption up there. It's, it's, yeah. uh, it, 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 Oh, well, spit it out, man. What is it? I couldn't see Vortex. They moved around the corner. Now, and what about the mirror that I gave you? I didn't use it. Couldn't get the right angle. Well, did you happen to hear anything then, Plankton? They're going to mix some chemicals yeah. with paper to... Right, that'll be the paint sediment. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make some kind of harmless paste or solid or harmless. something. Harmless. So that's what they're up to, Plankton. They're going to turn the waste into a raw material. A useful, money-making raw material. Now, we have to get a photograph of that contraption. I do believe that the time has come for Infinity Limited to meet Monsieur Gabat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. OK, sorry to keep you so long, John. Right, man. Bye-bye. Oh, industrial chemists lead such hard lives. He's got to run off for a game of squash now. Was the concrete idea a go? No, not really. No, it works well with some metal wastes like chromium and copper, but... They're very poisonous, aren't they? Yeah, but apparently the idea's not too good for solvents or oils. Why not? Concrete doesn't set properly. Oh, well, the paper press gave me another idea, which, which might give us an opening. The lips, it's all in the... <laughs> Monsieur Cabot, master artiste. And this is my protégé, Jean-Paul Larondeau, huh? Brilliant, brilliant. His work is just magnifique, you, huh? And this we call the big mourner. <laughs> well, now, allow me to give you a small preview of some of our latest works. Uh, I you say, uh, une exhibition, huh? Now, this one, for example, I, I can hardly bear to part with it. You're actually selling this? We, oui. <laughs> I call this the... Uh, the can can. <laughs> Little chap, no? You uh, notice how the texture reflects the light so beautifully the way it falls. Uh, no, wait, no. Aha, I have here a work showing the influence of Marcel Duchamp, genius designer of the Leaning Tower of Eiffel. Uh, Got it. <laughs> but of course, madame, we cannot have you rush into any quick decision. Sir, I leave this one with you and how you say, uh, no obligation. I am sure, sure, quite sure that it will grow on you all in good time. Oui, oui. Si. Oui. No, 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 no. Je ne crois. Bye-bye. Ah, so which uh, bin do we hang this one? <laughs> Have you no soul, Monsieur Reed? <laughs> OK, you're going as crazy as them. Now, what was this other idea you were talking about? <laughs> Brick. <laughs> what happens 
to the water as the brick dries. Uh, it evaporates. Mm. So? Why not do the same with the solvent and the paint slops? Let it evaporate into the air. No, 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 Monsieur Rick. Inside a closed container. Why not distill it? Look. We heat this up. The solvent evaporates off. And as it cools, it turns back into a liquid. And voila! It's pure solvent. I see. And we're just left with the paint pigment over here. Yeah, which is pretty harmless stuff. And we get rid of it in the nicest way possible. We use it to make more paint. Hey, this recycling idea is not such a bad thing after all. I okay, can't paint it. Now you get the sprawl film into the developing tank while I dash over to fill my spray paint. Now, aren't we going to work out all the details first before we go and make something that... Always fussing about details, Plankton. Look, the way they're going up there, they'll be on the phone to the manager with the solution any old tick of the clock. We still don't know if it'll work. Oh, of course it'll work. The testing is just a mere formality. But what are we going to use this product for when we do make it? Insulating material, my boy. You are now talking to the next president of Recycled Insulating Material International, a division of Vortex Ventures. <laughs> All I need is the manager's signature on this all-purpose void contract, and we get the exclusive rights to all their solvent waste. Au revoir. <laughs> Too much heat, do you think? Yeah, I'll turn it down a bit. How's the water in the condenser? Pretty right. Vortex Ventures are definitely in the wrong business. What, are scientists or spies? Either. Yeah, they did look like a couple of rejects from the circus, didn't they? Or a trash and treasure market. Well, you're not really going to hang that thing up, are you? Yeah, I think it's got a certain... Don't say it. Je ne sais quoi. <sighs> I wonder why they were so interested in our press. They were out at the spray paint place. They probably think it's got something to do with the case. I hope they're not going to start fooling around with solvents down there. Yeah, no. They could blow up the whole building. Look at it, Rick. I never thought I could get excited about paint residue, but it really worked. Yeah, well, the solvent looks pretty clear. The main question now is what do we do with the paint pigment? Couldn't it just go to the tip? It's pretty harmless stuff. Hmm, probably. I think we should put some in a jar of water and let it stand overnight, though. For the paint fairy. Crystal. So, uh, tomorrow I'll take a sample down to the lab and have it tested for contamination. What happened, Vortex? What do you think happened, Plankton? I tripped over last week's leftovers. <laughs> no, I mean, where have you been? I've been waiting around all afternoon for an appointment with the manager. Uh, first of all, they said he'd be back in five minutes. And then they asked me if I'd like to come back tomorrow. Plankton, these photographs are useless. Well, I thought that one was rather good. You'll recall we were interested in their pressing machine? Yes. That's their fridge. Well, you're not going to burn, that's for sure. Well, the lab said the water's fine. Hey, no contamination at all. Yep. In fact, they said we could use the water to top up the fish tank. Oh, no, Rick. What's the matter? Don't you trust the lab? Yes, but, um... We might hurt their feelings, Sam. Chris. Very sensitive fish. So, we might even be able to recycle the, the salt and just dispose of the pigment as dry pellet. Sounds great, mate. Well, we'll have to do a costing, but why not? If I can set up something here and interest some other people in sharing the services, look, why don't you drop in tomorrow, so, uh, <coughs> say, say 10 o'clock. Okay? Bye for now, mate. Mr. Vortex. Uh, ah, yes. I've called a number of times. Well, I've hardly been in since our little conversation. Oh, well, not to worry, sir, not to worry. Now, would I be right in thinking that your um, little problem has been solved? At least part A of the problem. Part A? Yes, treating all that nasty liquid waste. Uh, part B is disposing of the treated waste. Uh, any plans at this stage? Well, not as yet. Keep a look over this contract, sir.
what is all this vortex? <laughs> now, here plankton we have a pump and here a drum of portal wool. High quality insulating material. Oh, I see. So we pump that straight into the ceiling to keep the house cool or warm. Plankton, I believe you've finally got it. Oh, <laughs> and um, this bottle wall... Ah, yes. Now, you'll recall, Plankton, that we were looking for a safe way to dispose of the solvent. But before Infinity did. Well, it's a complete waste of time. Oh, why, boy? <laughs> because, my boy, Infinity Limited will do all the work for us. They will? <laughs> now, look. They're going to heat the waste here in a closed container, and then drive off the solvent and reuse it. Now, that's very simple stuff. Sounds rather clever to me. Nah, but not as clever as me, my boy. Oh. Once the solvent's gone, what have you got left? Well, you, you, you've got... Little balls of paint pigment, which the manager has agreed to pay me to dispose of. And, and that's... Fortal wool. Oh. <laughs> By 52... Equals... Hey, guess what? The strike's over. What are we going to do with these bins, Chris? Keep them. Listen to this, Rick. There are ten trucks making 15 trips to the tip each week. Each truck carries t two tonnes of That'd rubbish. That'd make about... A lot of rubbish. If only half the people in this area did what we're doing, think of the savings, Rick. The holes would take twice as long to fill. OK, OK. So I get the feeling we keep the bins. Which means no more bin nights. No more fights about whose turn. That's right, Rick. The plastic bin will never darken our door again. <laughs> oh, and speaking of bins, the inspector was round again this morning. Looking for Vortex and Co? Yeah. Do you know they nearly blocked off the whole stairwell with those drums from Velmo's? We've been working non-stop. Absolutely run off our feet, I tell you. This stuff is fantastic. <laughs> it has an insulation coefficient of about 80%. Mate, only 20% of the heat escapes. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm currently negotiating a contract with the US Space Administration and we're going to have all this stuff fit into every one of their planes, rockets, shuttles, Sputniks, you name it, you name it. And you put it in ceilings, do you? You can put it in anything. <laughs> I've been looking for you, Mr Vortex. Yeah, yeah. Take it easy with a pipe, will you, Plankton? <laughs> He's a good worker, but you've got to keep an eye on him. <laughs> what would you say if I told you you've got to remove this insulation? No problem at all. We can easily... Do. Remove. Wilson's the name. Municipal building inspector. Yeah. We've analysed the stuff, and its insulation properties are frankly nothing like you claim. And I'm afraid it's also very heavy. You'll have to remove it from every single ceiling you've put it in. Here. My fortune! My feet are breaking! Stop! Stop! Well, you want to know what? And you want to know how? And you want to know why? And you want to know now? You want to know what? And you want to know how, and you want to know why.